Yes, uh, good morning class. Uh, my name is uh, teacher Laban Mugume. I'm here for beginner class. And I'm here also in, on behalf of Sahel Software College. This is the college that gives you uh, many services like IT services, uh, English services, and also Forex courses. Now, today we have uh, beginner class. Today we have beginner class, and this lesson is for beginner class. So, we are talking about uh, sounds. We are talking about sounds. There are many sounds. We have got vowel sounds, we have got alphabet sounds. So, today we are talking about how to pronounce vowel sounds, how to pronounce uh, consonant sounds. Yes, let's go. Now we are starting with vowel sounds. Vowel sounds. So, let's go to pronunciation. How do you pronounce them? I'm starting with uh, capital letters. Capital letters. This is A, A, E, O, A. I repeat, this is A, A, E, O, A. Let me explain about this sound. Many students, they like to pronounce this as sound U. But there are challenges when you pronounce it with sound U. Because many words in English, almost 80% of words in English, they are pronounced in sound A. For example, if this is, uh, if you pronounce this as U, when you come to this word, how will you pronounce it? So this one is, will be but, not but. This one will be but. This one, you pronounce it as bus. This one is fun. This one is... Um, so those are sounds. These are but, bus, fun, bust. Those one have sound a, uh, not sound u. However, there are some words that pronounce that are pronounced in sound u. But those ones are few. So for students to understand very fast, we pronounce this as sound a. Uh. So this is a a e o a. A a e o a. So that's how we pronounce it. So those are capital letters. Let me repeat again. This is a a e o a. A a e o a. This is how you can pronounce it. Same applies to here. This is a a e o a. A a e o a. Again, a a e o a. That is how you can pronounce it. Now, we shall see how to make syllables when we start to make words. Now let's go to alphabet capital letters. Alphabet capital letters. So when we are making words, when we are making words, we make alphabet, we combine or we make together alphabets and vowel sounds. So these ones are also very important. So let's go to pronounce them now. This is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. 
Let me repeat once again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Yes. That's how we can pronounce uh, capital alphabet letters. Now, if you go to small, same pronunciation. We don't change how you read them. So, these are 26 vo I mean, alphabet sounds and these are five. Now, when you come here, this one is read as A, but this one is read as A. A, B, C, D, E. This is E, but this one is read as A. So, the sounds are different. They are not the same. Hmm? They are not the same. If we say alphabet sounds, we pronounce them in a different way. If we say vowel sounds, we also pronounce them in a different way. So that's very important for you to understand. Now, let's go also to something very uh, important. Now, this, this one, these are small letters. If I, I can also read them, they have the same pronunciation as capital letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. There are also 26 alphabet letter sounds. Now let's go to consonants. What are consonants? Many students don't understand what are consonants. Huh? Now, consonants, for them, we get them when we remove, when we remove vowels from alphabet letters. When we take away vowels from alphabet letters, we remain with consonants. For example, if you remove this, the word remove, those who can't understand remove, you can maybe translate in other languages. Remove means take away. This is A. If we remove this, if you remove this, if you remove this, uh, where is another one? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. When you remove this and you remain with uh, 21 sounds, those 21 remaining sounds are called consonant sounds. Now, when you try to, when you try to check here, these ones are not there. A, E, these ones are not there. So when you, those circled letters or circled sounds are not here. So therefore, these ones are called consonant sounds. These are called consonant sounds. So when you hear someone say, talk about consonant sounds, you know that these are consonant sounds. Okay? Thank you. Now, then, when you want to create um, words, you cannot create words without combining, without making together uh, the co consonants and the vowels. So now we want to see the relationship uh, between consonant sounds and vowel sounds. When you try to mix them together, for example, if this is, um, if I can write here, if this is, this is a consonant sound. This is a consonant sound, B. If you combine it with one here, 
then we shall have another sound. This one will be ba, ba, ba. Then this one we call it. The name for this one is called syllable. The name for this is called syllable. Now that's why I said. Now let's go to syllables. Then what are syllables? Syllables is the combination. Combination means together. You make them together. Combination of vowels and consonant sounds. Why do we want to combine them? Because you want to form words. Because we want to form or make words. Now, let me take. Let's take an example here. Out syllables. Now this is vowel sound. A, I mean sound B. Now, if you try to combine it with vowel sound, now we shall form what you call syllables. So this is, for example, it will be ba, be, be, bo, ba. So what are these? These are syllables. So this is a consonant and you mix it with a vowel. This is consonant and we mix it with a vowel and it produces another sound and that sound is what you call syllable sound. Now, if you try to pronounce them now, it will be ba, be, be, bo, ba. Let's read together. Ba, be, be, bo, ba. So these are uh, syllable sounds. If we try to mix syllable sounds with consonant sounds, then we shall form words. For example, I can make the word here. This is but. This but is from where? It is from the combination of syllable sound and then this one is also a consonant sound. So this one makes a word. So the words are made from here. So this is a syllable and you make also uh, the, the consonant sound and then it will form the word but. So this is ba, d, and then the whole word will be but. So this is one sound, this is another sound. So it will be but. The word is but. If I can give another word, how do you pronounce this? This one will be ba and g. Bug. Bug. So this is g. g. This is bug. Bug. Now, if I come here, this is what? This is uh, another word. This is be, d. Be, d. So the word is bed. This one is how do you pronounce this? This is best. 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 This one is big. If I can make a, a word, huh? then this one is bit. 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 T. 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 G. 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 Big, bit, big, bit, bad, bug, bed, best, big, bit. So those are sounds from syllables and consonant sounds.
Uh -huh. How do you pronounce this? This is boy. 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 This is got from uh, syllable sound and you combine it with consonant sounds and then it will make boy. Then finally, we can go to bus, but these are also called uh, words and they are got from syllable sounds and consonant sounds. This is ba. This is ba. Then you put s. S. Ba. S. Ba. S. So it will be bas. Bas. This one is ba. And this it will be t. t. So it will be but but so those are some of the words that you can get from combination of syllable sounds and uh, consonant sounds now you have seen what i have done here now i'm giving you another uh, syllable sound let me give you Now you will combine them and you form words. So if you combine them and you form words, this one will be ka, ke, ki, ko, ka. Those, that's how you can read it. So now you will form words each syllable choose any consonant sound and you try to make words and then you will do it as homework so choose that choose d this is a a e o so also try to make this is uh, capital Yes, also we shall try to make words. So make 20 words. So this one is homework. So in your free time, try to do what I have done here. Try to think about how you can make other sounds, other words, because these are words now. These are words. Try to make other words, combining syllables plus consonant sounds, and then you make other uh, words. So you make 20 words using combining consonant sounds and syllable sounds, and you try to make words. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, this is Sahel Software College, the college that gives you many services like uh, IT services, uh, forex courses, and English, of course. And my name is Teacher Mugume Laban from Uganda. Thank you so much. I wish you the best. See you.